Welcome back to yet another Romsky video. So as of right now, uh, I am sitting at 14.9 thousand YouTube subscribers. We're so close to that 15,000. And, and, we're also at 14.9 Instagram followers. If you've been following along, I'm waiting for that day that YouTube passes Instagram. We've never been closer. This is it. I'm almost past, I'm almost breaking through that YouTube game and beating my Instagram game. Time to pick up the Instagram game and then pick up the YouTube game and then pick up the Instagram game and then pick up the YouTube game. We're picking up the game. Basically from now on, all my vlogs are gonna be pretty broken up. I need to fit in pieces here and there to explain what's happening, I guess, if that makes sense. So this is, this is my, this is what I'm doing. This sitting head talk, that's what I'm doing. Welcome back guys to yet another Romsky video. For those of you who are new, my name is Roman Sadovsky. I am a Kami figure skater slash weeb slash YouTube sensation. I'm actually working on a new dance, guys, so if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. I'll give you bonus points if you can guess what the song is. Anyway, back to the video. Today's a very special day. We're back in my home rink, which is a big deal. For those of you who don't know, right before this whole COVID disaster, we were scheduled to go into our brand new rink, because usually we have this nice Olympic sized rink, but now we have a new one right next to it, which was NHL, not my favorite. We were supposed to get in there in April. They didn't get there in April. April is now. Now August is the new April. And you know what? It looks pretty darn nice. Hi everybody, welcome to YRSA's new rink. It's beautiful. Make sure to subscribe, follow my Instagram. Just don't follow his Instagram. Just don't do it. No. Don't do it. First official day back at Ed Sackfield in the new rink. I wish it was in the old rink, but we're in the new rink. Now the good thing about it is it's really new. Um, it's really bright. It's got these LED lights on top, which are bright, but like, if you're looking directly into the light, like when you're directly under, that's it, you're blinded, it's over. You'll literally burn your corneas. Still pretty epic, to be honest. All right, so it's eight o'clock in the morning. I used to hate skating in the mornings, but now, honestly, I've gotten way more accustomed to it, and I kind of prefer it over skating at night, just because I have the rest of the day off. I am keeping track of what's going on in the old rink. The old rink is slowly coming along. The last time I checked, they're starting to put boards in. It's, it's, it's a slow process, but it's, it's getting there. We're almost there. The reason I don't like NHL is it's too small. Olympic size is 200 by 100. What's the standard NHL rink size? The standard ice rink in North America measures 200 feet long by 85 feet wide. So it's 85 feet wide. So the length is the same, but the width is smaller. And for me, it's a big deal. Like, I feel like a caged animal when I'm on an NHL-sized rink. Like, I like to take up all the ice that I can. In an NHL-sized rink, I feel trapped. I get used to it over time. Once I go into Olympic size, it's like the best feeling ever. I gotta say though, the one thing I do like about this rink is the abundance of natural light. So you don't feel like you're closed in an ice rink all day, at least you have some sunlight to look at. I just wish we had heaters. That's, that's a thing. It's a little bit on the cold side. They did a good job though. Town of Richmond Hill definitely poured a lot of money into this. I just wish they poured a little bit more for those heaters. Like in the winter, it for sure will be a problem. I know for sure. So hopefully I'm not in that rink in the winter. Hopefully when we're in the other one in the winter. They're telling us mid-September, so that's in like two weeks. So in two weeks time, I hope to be back finally at home. Olympic size, space, lights, just everything. probably also mentioned that they also added a ridiculously nice park. It's probably the best park around, hands down. On top of all that, there's a trampoline. Yo, what up Romsky viewers? It's your favorite noodle, Nam Nam Noodle. Today we're about to be witnessing something iconic. You're gonna watch your favorite YouTuber do a random flip off a trampoline at YRSA's new playground. Make sure to follow my Instagram, Nam Nam Noodle. Take it away, buddy. Take it away. <laughs> Nah, not enough rotation. You know what I give that? I give that a minus one out of ten. 
extremely disappointing, but I'm sure round two will be much better. The goal is to like straighten out do a sick layout. See, the goal was to do a layout, like straight legs, but then I piped at the end. It didn't really work. So yeah, I'm sort of in that zone where I'm getting into a little bit of program training based on the next event, which is going to be Skate Canada, apparently. We'll see if that actually goes down, but that's the targeted event. So I'm doing a lot more skating, like program stuff. I'm getting a lot more exhausted. And that's the, that's the key. That's what, that's what makes you good at skating is if you're able to do the stuff in the program. Okay, so I just did like half a long, roughly. I'm not gonna record a long, it's impossible for me to record. But uh, now I'm gonna try doing triple axel and quad sal while I'm exhausted after a long program. Now the sort of endurance training begins. So the sal works better than the axle. Now, you might not be able to tell, but I'm like exhausted right now. And that's the key, is to get, to trick you people into thinking it's easy. This stuff's hard. At the end of the day, I could be recording these jumps day and night, and they could be beautiful out of the program, but they, they gotta make themselves into the program. That's, that's the key. <laughs> I'm definitely right now, I can say I'm feeling a lot better. If you were following along during the beginning of this series, I said that my height was feeling low. I think this was probably like around day seven, maybe day 15. I was saying, you know what? The height feels a little low. That's definitely back. I do feel like that little bit of like one, two percent of height or jumping power is back. I do feel I'm way more efficient at doing things. So doing like a quad sow or triple sow or even quad toe for that matter used to be way more overwhelming. So that's a good sign. We're making our way forward. I think on day like 40 ish or something, I did a lace hack video. If you haven't seen that already, you should go check it out. But funny enough, a day I saw that video and they sent me a care package of laces and lace holders and lace pullers. They figured I don't have enough laces in my, I uh, guess, in my skating bag. Massive thank you to Adea. Now I'll make sure that I'm always changing them. And on, while, while doing that, I also kind of asked them to give me a little bit more stuff. So they also gave me their new e-guards. I've been using them for quite a while now. They're a little weird when you first look at it because it's one piece. This is probably the biggest change in guards in like 70 years in terms of design. It's one piece, which I like, and it's like an elastic. And also the water just seeps out. My only gripe is that some of the paint comes off, but that's okay, like it doesn't really matter. It's also partially due to the fact that they're kind of one size fits all, and I'm a big person, big blades. I'm technically too big for these guards, but I just kind of, I, over, I overstretch them. And so the paint kind of comes off, but that doesn't matter, they do their job. I just like, I think they're, I think they're dope. Anyway, massive thank you to Adea. I like them. That's it, we're basically back to normality. Besides the fact that we can't actually be in the rink, the only time we can spend in the rink is going on the ice, then we get, have to get out of there really quick. So still waiting for that full normality when we can actually go into the rink, chill in the change room, warm up in the rink, that deal. Anywho, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, hit that subscribe button so that you know when that new rink is ready to go and when I'm in it and when I'm in the Olympic 
rink, just skating. You need to know when I get in that rink. That's going to be groundbreaking information. And on that note, I'll let you guys go.